So I was one of the first 80 uh, users of Instagram. I saw uh, Kevin and uh, Mike uh, at a little uh, incubator in San Francisco and it obviously, obviously went on to great success. Um, and now I'm looking for other things to do with my cell phone uh, and Mobley has one, one that they just announced a new live video feature and they have a ton of interesting fe uh, filters and other things you can do with photos and, and uh, have a lot of fun with your friends on a mobile phone. So we're going to see that right now. Who are you? Hi Robert, I'm Irit Singer. I'm Mobley's CMO. I'm actually at Mobley for a couple of months now. Um, I come from uh, Microsoft. I'm an electrical engineer and, uh, with an MBA in, uh, from Tel Aviv University. Um, have a lot of uh, experience, well over 12 years experience of uh, global marketing and then 10 years or 7 years of, uh, of uh, R&D experience. So all that helped me uh, become the, the Mobley CMO, one of the coolest apps out there today. So I, you know, I, I introduced this by, be, by, by telling you I was one of the 80 users of Instagram, first 80 users. Um, and obviously that went on to be 200 million users, something like that right now, right? right. This is the new Instagram. This is uh, Mobley has live video that Instagram is still not using, and it has more filters and fun things to do, and it, it's really uh, the next level of social on phone, right? Absolutely. I think that you know we're not looking at other apps. Just talking about Mobley, I think it's really cutting edge technology incorporated in a, a really rich dark room that we have filters and a lot of fun stuff that you can do. We have filters and filter stickers that you can do and they can be location based so if you're at a I don't know Yankee Stadium you can have a specific filter for those Yankee fans. Um, so I think that Mobley is really really fun in terms of usage on photos and video and like you said we're taking it to a new era now with live broadcasting so we actually are introducing that today. Yeah. And there's a whole lot of things to do with live broadcasting. So you can actually have those precious moments that you want to share with people. But then again, you can just do like goofy stuff that you don't want to have on anyone's cell later on. And that just goes away. And you can really interact. So Mobi is kind of combining all those live uh, broadcasting features with the social platform that Mobi already has. So yeah. you really interact and you get comments and you can really hear what people are saying at live. Yeah, we're here in uh, Israel getting a tour of, of what's going on here. It used to be that uh, this kind of app or this kind of social feature had to be launched from a San Francisco company. I mean, Instagram was right in downtown San Francisco because that's where the early adopter users were and the money and the PR. Why is, why is Mobley able to start here in Israel? Well, I think what's going on here in Israel? There's something in the water. <laughs> There's something in the water for sure. But you know, Mobley has always been uh, based in Israel. Even though we're we're also based in the U.S., uh, we're working a lot. Um, we're we're working everywhere. You know, it's a global company, and we're very um, active also in Latin America and Mexico and Brazil and other countries. And I think that's the beauty of uh, of this era, actually, that you don't really have to be at a specific place to be there and Israel has some of the finest talents and I think that the Israeli or Tel Aviv Silicon Valley uh, stands up to any other uh, part of the US or San Francisco or the Silicon Valley there and it's just really great that you can create anywhere and be part of this whole global um, experience. Yeah, I, you know I, I was uh, at Jerusalem Venture Partners yesterday and met the founder of uh, Glide which is a, a, a a point-to-point, point, a person-to-person person video sharing thing. There's something going on here and companies like Mobley and, and Glide are trying to figure out how to get users excited about something else other than Instagram, right? Or, or Snapchat or WhatsApp, right? Yeah, well, I think that the, the vision that Mobley has always had um, and that really took us uh, in all our versions up to now and, and with this one, is that we want to connect or bring people together through um, video and photos and any visual content. So I think that the uh, live broadcasting is just a natural evolution 
of this visual content sharing. And it's really, um, from our experience, what people are looking for to really interact in live time um, with each other wherever they are at any time. Yeah. So what Moly is actually offering is, is really that set next level. So it's about being there and yet not really being there. So you can get comments from people and you interact and they can, it feels like they're with you. Yeah. So it's taking it's taking the live broadcasting that you see, like you've mentioned, from other companies, um, and adding that to the social platform. Yeah, I saw, you know I was just at Coachella, which is a big music festival in, in uh, Palm Springs, and somebody standing next to me was uh, uh, using FaceTime with his girlfriend uh, to let her watch the concert because she couldn't be there, right? But this lets a, a group of people watch, and there, there's no uh, there's no uh, limit on the amount of time you can broadcast, right? Absolutely no limit, as long as your battery holds. Yeah, you can go away. That's why I always have a mopey <laughs> pack with me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so you can, yeah, you can broadcast uh, live for as long as you want, and actually, all your followers can join in. So it's really not a one to one, but a one to many. And you will have, obviously, the option to be a private and, and then do some private broadcasting if you want to, you know, I don't know, the birth of your baby you want to show to your mother on the other side of the world and you don't want to share it with the entire world, obviously. You could do that as well, and you'll see that in upcoming versions um, on Mobley. But the idea is to really give the option for anyone around the world to share in that moment. So if you're in a live concert, yeah, go ahead, show it to everybody around the world. Yeah. And it, what, what's different today than five years ago is finally the uh, cell networks are starting to get enough capacity and speed to make possible video. I mean, at Coachella, we had 90,000 people in a field, right? And the video was actually working really well. And the, the, finally, the Verizons and the AT&Ts in the United States are uh, having enough capacity to keep up with a high density neighborhood, <laughs> which is what a music <laughs> festival was, and uh, let you stream out the video content to your friends, right? Right, right. So we do see that, you know, that's really significant in terms of, of having that uh, ability to live broadcast. And I think that's why it's now is the time that it evolves to live broadcasting, that we have um, the infrastructure and we have the cell phones with all the smartphones and, you know, with the really cool cameras that everybody thinks, you know, that they're a, a, a professional um, um, photo shooter and it's really part of the evolution yeah. and it wouldn't be available you know if we didn't have that infrastructure yeah. and the one thing that we do have on Mobley is that it checks um, to see your bandwidth and if you will be broadcasting in a good enough environment to give a, a good experience for your followers to view yeah, and, if, I, and if it doesn't it, it tells you so yeah so. we were walking around uh, Jerusalem yesterday and we couldn't get a cell uh, network so it might suggest hey do a photo instead you know yeah. uh, or or do it later yeah. right? um, the other thing that's different from like six or seven years ago is we have really good social networks on Facebook and Twitter. When you start a live broadcast, you can uh, alert all those people that you're uh, broadcasting live, right? Absolutely. So we have it within the app. Just before you go live, you can actually notify all your followers on Facebook and on Twitter. They would need to see it through Mobly, mm -hmm. um, the live, uh, the live uh, streaming. but they get a notification with a cover photo actually of your choice. You can take at the moment a photo and send that or you can use something from, from, you know, from your uh, data and just let everybody know, hey, I'm going live soon, get me on Mobley. Oh, that's cool. Can I, I'm gonna start asking some questions to figure out where, where, <laughs> where you need to go in the future. Uh, can I schedule something? Because if I'm doing a wedding, everybody knows it starts at 5 p.m. on a Saturday, right? right. Can I can I sort of pre-warn everybody? Hey, get Mobley, and then you can watch the wedding at 5 p.m. on Sunday. Well, it's not Saturday. well, it's not automatic at the moment. You know, the scheduling. We will have that in in our upcoming versions. Um, but you can notify anyone. You know that I'm going to be live at 6 p.m. and then exactly at 6 p.m. go live, and then they will get a notification just prior to that. Yeah. Reminding them that you're going live. At, at Coachella, it, I was dancing with a bunch of 20 year olds, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> Very <is> energetic fun. <laughs> dancers. <laughs> but there, I was there to watch what people are using on their phones, and mm -hmm. I noticed a lot of the kids are using Snapchat. And I started talking about why, and they said, "Well, we don't like to post stuff to Facebook 
or Twitter because that's permanent and right. uh, and maybe uh, I only want to share it with a, a few friends for a little while and have it go away. I don't want it to stick around so uh, it affects my employment in the future right, or whatnot. Right. How do you, what's your philosophy with live video? Well, I think that's kind of where, um, you know, live uh, video meets Snapchat in, in that sense that you have it, you, you show it live, you're either there or you're not, you can see it, you can experience the, the moment, but then it's, it goes away. So it's not there to stay, it, you can't download it from viewing it from someone else's uh, broadcast. I, I want to share something with you on live, I'm not sure that I want you to keep it, so you don't have that ability mm -hmm. with the live broadcasting. We are looking into future uh, versions, into having you the, giving you the ability of saving your own uh, broadcast. We'll see that in, in upcoming versions, but as far as the other side goes, that will not be available. It's, it's not something that we believe is yeah, right. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So it, you'll put it back. You'll put it on my phone. The recording of what I filmed at like a, a music festival, and then I can probably upload it to Facebook or YouTube or something like that. Right. Or if someone asks for it, then you know specifically if you decide to share that with that person, that would be fine. Yeah. Um, we're still debating about that. It's kind of like the evolution of, of live broadcasting, and we're kind of trying to see how that goes. So at the moment, we're not looking into saving the data at all. So it's either you're there at the live moment, you know, share the moment, or you're not. But yeah. um, we are seeing that um, as a possibility. You're a free app, right? So you're not free charging. App. How, do, how are you guys making money? Is it a traditional advertising play, or is there some other way that you're going to monetize? Well, at the moment, we don't have any uh, monetization on uh, Mobly, and obviously, it's a free app, so anyone can download it. Um, we have, uh, you know, we we have some really uh, very uh, interesting strategic partners um, like Vic Lee from Tencent and Carla Slim from American Mobile, and together we're trying to figure out. Um, those monetization models that will actually enrich the user experience. So not, we're not looking just you know to place advertisement, but actually to give the user experience something more beneficial for them themselves. So it could be in terms of uh, pay per view on specific uh, content, or it could be the option you know if I see like a photo of some celeb that I really like and I see her sunglasses and I want to purchase that, so maybe I'll be able to give that option. So we're really looking into monetization in terms of how the user would use that and how that would enrich his experience. Yeah, um, most people, uh, uh, you know, if you look at your user base, most people pr probably only want to broadcast to a few friends. You know, um, uh, twenty or thirty family friends, you know, family members. Mm -hmm. But people like me, I have millions of followers, uh, and I I have different needs uh, of, of broadcasting. How, how do you think that's going to be handled? And do you, do you see, see that there's going to be a, maybe a suggested user list of people who are doing really interesting kinds of content? Because I'd, I'd love to watch a music star, right, for instance, right. do their live broadcast. I, I don't want to watch normal people. But, you know, I, I'd love it if the app uh, said, hey, Snoop Dogg is broadcasting live right now. Yeah. Go and click on him and watch him, right? Yeah. So by you know by following Team Mobley on Mobley, you can actually get all the hottest news and all the latest updates on any kind of like musicians or stuff like that that you really want to follow. So we're going to keep that updated all the time. Um, and then if you are a user and you want to share it with only specific people, that will be an option as well. So I think that live broadcasting is really on our radar, and it's really the focus of Mobley um, for 2014, and it's just going to be an, an emotion, and it's kind of like a process that we're working into. So this is like the first, uh, first steps into this new era, and we're just looking forward to a lot more to come. Cool. Where do we get it? On any platform. You have it on, on the iPhone, on um, iPad, Android, you name it. And just search for Mobley. And just do Mobley and you got it. Right. Download now. Thank you so much. Thank for you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Thanks.